depending on the type of document that you're working on in Google Docs, you may want to use the outline feature. So the outline feature, um, if you look over here, it displays kind of the structure of my document. So this document is some curriculum that I developed for a program, a training program. And um, you can see it's kind of broken down it's into chunks, um, which is not uncommon for training documents. But if you look over here on the left, I can navigate the different sections of this training document by just clicking on different pieces of the outline. And Google Docs will navigate to that location within my document. So that's one of the reasons why this can be helpful. Another reason why this can be helpful is I can control, uh, I can look at the structure of my document all in one place. So I particularly like this when someone shares a document with me and I need to look it over to kind of uh, maybe review it or, or even just to gain the information that's in the document. I can skip to different, uh, different sections or I can, uh, you know, I can basically identify what is in this document just at a glance so it makes it kind of nice that way. So this could be used when, uh, you know, I use it when writing curriculum or it could be used when you're writing notes or study guide. If you're writing technical information, you might want to include this. But uh, let me show you how to add this feature to your documents. So it, it's more than just, so first, first off, you'll notice in this document, I don't have that outline toolbar right over here. So to add it, what you want to do is come right up here to tools and then scroll down to um, document outline right here. So you click that and you notice nothing's appearing here. Over here on the right, I have, um, I'm going to start taking notes on fish and I've got some of my, uh, my information structured. For example, I could I could enter, you know, a, I could have a, a headline here with fish and then, you know, different species um, and then have fresh have it broken down of fresh water or salt water. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. And I have habitats and species diet broken down the species. But let me show you what I mean by this. So I could have this be my title maybe. So I'll make this a little bit bigger. Whoops. Highlight my text. There we go. So we could highlight this, center it, and then maybe we, we'll maybe make this a little bit bigger, 18, and paint the formatting. If you're not familiar with um, Format Painter, Habitat Species. diet and species. Okay, so I've uh, kind of structured mine out a little bit. Here, we'll make this. Well, here, yeah, we'll make this in size 12. And then these should be size 12 as well because they're kind of on the same level as these others. So, um, so what I wanted to show you is I could kind of drill this down and, and say, okay, There we go. Okay, so now I'm kind of, you can see I'm kind of building an outline similar to what I had in my curriculum structure. Let's say I was using this for notes. I was taking notes in school or I'm taking notes in a lecture or something of that nature. So in here, I could then go ahead to go ahead and uh, label some freshwater fish. So I could insert some bullets and say, um, I don't know, trout, salmon. I don't think salmon's fresh water. <laughs> you can tell I don't know that much about fish. But my whole point is, uh, um, we got trout on there. But my whole point is, uh, you could basically structure your content. At least I think so. I don't know. They, they fish for um, salmon in Alaska. I mean, that's kind of by the ocean. But we'll try here. Anyway, so um, you can see I'm kind of structuring my content in such a way that... Um, it's easy to read. But you notice as I'm building this, it's not necessarily populating my outline, kind of like how I uh, kind of like how my outline was structured over here in my in my document over here with the curriculum. So 
what I need to do is make sure that Google Docs recognizes when I have different headers or when I have the title, things of that nature. So I'm, so to do that, what you'll want to do is first, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and select this fish right here. So I come up here and say insert, okay, and then I come right down here, oops, insert, and then I come down to, um, Oh, excuse me, it's format, so I insert. And then um, paragraph styles right here. Now I come down here and it'll have these different sections. So you have normal text, title, subtitle, heading one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. So if I look at these, if I uh, look at this over in my other document, like for example, if I click here, notice that um, in this box right here that lists that my style, this says it's heading one. And if I click on this next one down, now this is heading two. If I click on my title up here, it's telling me it's a title. And that's different from when I'm up here. Notice it just says I'm in normal text. If I click on species, it says I'm in normal text. If I click freshwater, it says I'm in normal text. Okay, so if I click on some of these others, it's just saying normal text, right? So to change that, um, I'm going to use that function that I was just showing you. So I'll select the text. I come up here to...